this place, it is home. Some people, it's the second home for me. It's, it's like my first. Kashai Abraham's prayers are answered. For the first time, he lives life without worry. I can just go out, be free, be myself. I can make mistakes, I can fail, I can, I can love others, uh, I can receive love. It wasn't always this way. Abraham grew up without a permanent home on the east side of Cincinnati. I probably lived around like at least eight different places, if I can remember. Like early on, most every we moved, we was moving on, on the east side and dealing with different evictions, couldn't pay the rent, um, just bad uh, relation with like landlords and stuff like that. As I got in like high school, like I was homeless again, like going to like junior year. And so like, I like lived in the car for a couple weeks. I mean, one thing that really kept me going was academics and school and like in football. And those like the two things like I really saw myself like being good at. The COVID lockdowns of 2020 only made an unlivable life worse. I feel like I just couldn't go no more and, and like everything just seemed so hard and weighed so much because like, I could not go to school and football was not really around at the time because everything was shut down. Being in a the, in the bad environment where it's like things are being said around you and stuff like that, it's really not good, like, good for like a young teen to go through. He'd lock himself in a room alone. Some nights he was in his mother's broken down hatchback sedan waking up in the middle of the night to make sure he was safe. At the time, I really wanted to be recruited and like everything was just going slow, so slow and just one thing that happened so instant. So just relying on certain people to help me like and tell me just one more day, it's, it's coming soon and stuff like that really uh, just helped me just a little bit to keep going just one, one, one more day. His high school football coach, Callie Jones of Withrow High School, found out he was staying in the locker room one night. Assistant Tim Yunker picked him up. Kashai went to church with the family. His teacher, Tina Gilliand, and her family helped take care of him as well his senior year. Growing up, I just feel like I was very different from like everyone like in my like immediate biological family, and I feel like that's most ever the case. Uh, I just thought diff I thought differently when it comes to like the future of school. I didn't want to be around drugs. I didn't want to be around people that was making bad decisions. P.J. Volker, an assistant coach at the time, stumbled on his game film. I was actually in the Atlanta airport at about 3.30, 4 a.m., uh, scrolling through Twitter, uh, looking for uh, really anything and everything. Uh, it was like, man, this, this dude's flying around. He's playing our style of football. He, he looks fast. He looks violent. Volker slid into Cush's DMs. Three days later, he was in Cincinnati. A two and a half hour conversation changed Abraham's life. He finished top 10 in his high school class, was off to the Naval Academy Prep School, and in fall 2023, Annapolis, Maryland. He's a guy that's not, that doesn't rest on uh, his laurels. He's a guy that works extremely hard, wants to get better every day that he goes out there. He's thirsty for knowledge, thirsty for physicality. Over time, he's become close with defensive backs coaches, R.B. Green and Eric Lewis. It just shows you what people are really made of, really what people are uh, capable of. And he's uh, done a great job taking advantage of every opportunity. You know, and he has great mentors here. You know, I think it's allowed him to open up a little bit more and uh, probably be a little bit more trusting of some of the people around him. That first leap of trust came his plea year. Coach Volker, I, it means a lot. We both from Cincinnati. And, uh, I feel like we got, we, got, we got like a special connection. I mean, I, I used to sit in his office, you know, sometimes in the school period and just like, to sit, to, sit there, he, he'd be watching film, I'd just be watching, doing homework. <laughs> and that's the first time it's ever happened in my, my career. You know, he just would come up, I'd be watching my, uh, my cut-ups, and he'd just like, Coach, you mind if I come up here and just sit, sit here and uh, work on my homework? And, uh, and he did, he sat, sat right next to my desk, worked on his homework. Uh, I sat there and uh, would watch the film. You know, occasionally we'd uh, chop it up about something as we got going. That type of stuff, is better than any victory on the field or anything like that. Like I want to make an impact in people's lives. I know the rest of our coaching staff wants to make an impact on people's lives. And I know Kush has already made an impact on my life. Saturday at 3.30, in front of 35,000 fans, Kushai Abraham is home. You read stories and different types of things of people just going one more day and at some point you don't think that can be you, but you can 
be a part of those stories and yours can help make an impact on other people. I, I most definitely lo love that, that saying, just one more day. I get one more day to smile, I get one more day to enjoy a laugh with one more person. Just one more day to be a Navy midshipman.